<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a stream of Celeste. Well, you know, this game, it's challenging as hell and it kicks my ass, but I try kicking its ass right back. Uh, I believe through the entirety of the last stream is where we started a B-Sides for most of the chapters. I, I know I, I did Chapter 2's B-Side already when I was first going through the game. So now we're focusing just the B-Sides of the other levels, and we got two more to go for Chapter 6 and 7. And then we got to do the entirety of Chapter 8, which I believe will have its own as well. And I'm also trying to get as much as I can done because uh, it was just released that or just notified to us by developers of this game which they just released a new they're made they're officially now are their own little game company called uh extra okay games uh that the chapter 9 dlc of celeste is coming out monday uh september 8th so i gotta hurry up and do all this <laughs> so it's just great timing. I started playing this game. Granted, a lot of it was because, hey, I played... I mean, I got this game through Epic Game Stores. It was free. I'm like, yay. So, yeah. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. I hope this is going to be a fun one. I liked Reflection as it is because of flying around. But let's see what B-Side is going to do to me. Let's hope the remix is pretty cool, too. I already, I already forgot. I, I hated these. I hated these guys. Um, how do I want to do this? Maybe I can do that. Is that what I wanted to do? Um, I'm, I'm still gonna be screwed. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Can't even get through the, the first screen. Oh, I could have had that. Oh, let's see why I'm going to continue using him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they want me to keep using the thing. Oh, what? Oh. I swear I pushed down there. Hold on a minute, guys. I'm just making sure my controls are not jacked up. There you go. There you go. Ah. Oh. When I was working the last stream, I heard a jazz, and my whole entire brain was like, oh, the Metal Gear Solid sound. Oh, you don't know, yeah, the, ch the chapter is the Mirror Temples, the chapter 5's B-side. The music was amazing. I love jazz, too. And here we go. Golden Feather time. Basically, the only time in the game where I use my analog stick, because I feel like it does make this a little bit better. I say a little bit better, but I still gotta, you know, play good. <laughs> so here's hoping this doesn't take me forever and a half to do, but... Ooh, well, let's go ahead and let that cancel out. We'll see what happens, guys. Phew, that was kind of close. Okay. So I guess it wants me to bounce up. I gotta grab the feather so I can fly out and go up there. Ugh. Yeah, it's gonna be a kind of a funky one. Ow! Okay. Okay, so I want to hit... Yeah, that side of it. Oh, no. Yeah. There you go. Oh! Damn, that thing ran out super quick. Well, that's what you kind of want to do, but, uh... 
It's a little hard. I'm... Oh, yeah, and I'm loving this music as well. Like, I... I, I don't know what you guys call it. You know, like that, that chanting music. It kind of what you hear, what you hear right now. <gasps> oh God, I was close. Like, what do you even call that? Like ambient choir or something? I don't know. But I love that type of music. There you go. Persona 1 music plus Celeste, and my brain can't handle the awesomeness. I can only imagine. Uh, Alright. Hmm. God, I think I'm. It's a weird ass angle to hit that damn thing. Uh. Ooh, okay, this room's gonna suck. Like you, you gotta be very precise in where you hit these things. Ah, because that's what's gonna keep happening. Is it simply just called chance? Really? I thought there was like a, um, I don't know, like a certain genre associated with that type of ambient chanting. Like, I know, like, you know how they have Greg Gregorian or Gregorian chants? It's called, like, a, like, the really deep one. It's like, I thought maybe there was something similar to this ambient chanting. Oh, you switched it over to the original P1 music, which is good. The, or the original Persona music I like, um, but I also love the Persona 3 Onwards music, too. Oh my god, okay, this room is... I'm sad to say, it's gonna take me a little while. Do I gotta fight in a... Oh! <laughs> oh my god. I think I'm doing this correct... Ooh. I think I'm doing it correctly. It's just, it's just going to take me a long time to nail it down. Yeah, take your time, Justin. I'm probably going to still be stuck doing this. Can't even match how many deaths already happened on the screen alone. Yeah, we still got a while, I bet. Oh my god. Okay. I could maybe I had I could have had that if I realized what was happening. Oh. Notice how like one of the first times I did this, I actually got a little bit further. Now it's like I can't get anywhere close to where I was before. Stop doing that. <laughs> okay. Huh. Oh. oh! Oh! Ow! Damn, I feel like I cramped something in my stomach trying to... D I was like, Ugh. Okay. Woo! Boy, that sucked. Wait, was there something up there I had to grab? 
That was very tense. Yes, I was. And welcome to the stream, Snowlock. Ah, uh -huh. no, you don't. Oh, maybe. Okay. 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 Uh, eh, okay. Okay, that wasn't that bad. Woohoo! All right, what, what do you want me to do here? So I, get, I grab... I grab the golden feather so I can loop around and hit the switch, and then... There's all that BS. Okay, oh, oh my god, this is a really bad one. There's a lot going on here. This is going to take me a while, I can, I can tell. Well... I'll just go for it. Hmm. What am I supposed to do there? Eh. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. He goes through the spikes, doesn't he? Ouch. So that means I gotta, like, beat him to it. Ooh, this is gonna be... This is gonna be a tough one. Ah, uh, okay. Like, I can't even think about that one. I just, I, I just, got, just got to do it. Nice to meet you all. You can call me Snow or Locke or maybe Lucky. Well, however you'd like us to introduce you. I mean, if you don't mind, I might stick with Snow. But if you want us to call you something in particular, let us know exactly. And then we'll take it from there. But welcome. Hope you enjoy yourself. Ah, uh, damn it. Snow's just fine. Okay, Snow it is. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. As you can see, I'm getting my ass kicked on Celeste. Oh, ha, ha, ha. No, I should have just went. Ah, that's going to happen quite a lot. I say it all the time, and it's like the whole thing about me not wanting to go diagonally, but wanting to go straight, but then I get screwed over. There you go. Ugh. I got just gotta think. All right, there we go. Jump. Oh nope. Once again, like th I can tolerate these B sides simply because of the music alone. It's what drives me and like what I just love of this game. The music is just fantastic. Oh, great. No, no, that's not good. Uh, okay. No. What happened? Jump, Celeste. Jump. I mean, Madeline. See, it's going to be one of, those, one of those instances where I'm going to get... I'm going to think her name is still Celeste, but even though it's like, just because it's the name of the game doesn't mean that's her character's name. Case some points, look at, um... Oh, what, what, what was it? Ah, I, I meant to get that... I guess I gotta, I gotta get that on the way back? I hope? But like, what case do I have? Like, uh, Metroid. People keep thinking that her name is Metroid. It's like, it's Samus. The game is just called Metroid because of the Metroids. Or, um... Zelda, Legend of Zelda. They're like, oh man, Zelda sure saves that princess a lot. It's like, oh. That one song from the Hatsune Miku game was still, was still held compared to this. Oh yeah, I mean, I mean, but we're, you're thinking we're that's two different genres. I mean, it's all oops. Um, every game can be difficult depending on who you ask and what genre it is, you know. Zelda is the hero of time. Welcome back, Justin. Uh, okay. We. 
Whoo, okay. That one, I, I was... How fast do you want me to go? That That's... That's pretty damn fast. Damn it! Like, I know the whole saying, gotta go fast, but this is hard! No, I would have had it while I fudge! Okay. I think I have it. Could have gone a little faster there. No, no, okay. No, no! <laughs> that stupid ass jump of mine. I gotta stop doing that. Like, I wanna know if it's, if it's my controller or it's just my fat fingers that keep messing it up like that. Oh. Can you imagine if the regular game had, the, like, like the story had platforming exactly like this? People get pissed. And thank you for the five bits, Joanna. I will read that message in just a little bit. I'm, I'll just read it now. You watch how soon Miku streams and you cringe at yourself? Oh, don't worry, Justin. We all cringe at everybody and my, ourselves. I said it before, but I would love a Zelda game where you actually play a Zelda because she's she's actually the holder of courage that uh, that time around and and or Gan decided to cut to the chase and take out Link before going after Zelda so he can't save her. Save her. You know, see the thing is when we all got that tidbit of uh of the Breath of the Wild two. Uh, being the being development people's minds start going because it really does look like you might actually play as Zelda for a while in that game I did it so we'll see I'm hoping for the we might I'm I'm thinking we're gonna play as Zelda in breath of the wild too for some reason you're getting ghosts in the shell vibes from the song yes Yes, no, yes. Oh, hey, we gotta do this stuff too? This, this whole thing where we're like uh, chasing after Badlin? Or maybe not? Ah, huh, maybe not. I should have known to do there. But for someone like me who is always worried about what I say, it's extra cringy. No, no, Justin, don't worry. I'm, I'm the exact same way. Like, like I. Oh crap. There are times I'm sleeping at night and it's like, hey, Mina, remember that really crappy thing or stupid thing you said all those years ago? Let's think about it now. It's like, oh, can we not? There's actually a game where you play as Zelda, but the game has faded into obscurity. Yes, the, the Philips CDI game. Yes, oh, nobody talks about those. Oh, I, why didn't I? I should have just used my dash. I guess I was afraid that I wasn't going to reach or something. All right, might, I might need it later. Okay. We're making some pretty decent progress in these uh in these chapters or levels. A part of me feels like I'm missing something, but it's like, no, we're just just gotta keep doing your thing. Oh, okay. Alright, it's not that type of jump.
Oh, then I hit him. Okay. Guess my facts don't work here. No. Of course they do. Okay, let's not jump off like a crazy madman because there's spikes there to the left. Awesome. Whew. The car seat was so hot today, I burned my hand getting in southern heat and ain't no joke, y'all. Oh, no, I'm sure, dude. I'm sure. Not gonna lie, when I saw Urbosa, I th I thought Joanna met those things in Resident Evil 5. Oh, what is it? What are those things called again? Uroburos or something. You know, that's the thing about Resident Evil 5. It's like, everybody does give it flack. And, you know, it's a fun game to play with somebody. Now, the story, da -da -da -da, you know, it's, uh, yeah, eh, not the greatest, in my opinion. But, um... I, I enjoyed Resident Evil 5 for what it fudge was um, in terms of gameplay and having fun with somebody else. Damn it. It's a good game. A hell of a lot better than 6. Which I still gotta play. Cause I have it for some odd reason on Steam. I probably threw like a bundle or something. Uh, it's not gonna work. Uh... And it's weird. I played a little bit of it a long time ago in the PS3. It, it was Leon's chapter with uh, Helena, I believe. And, you know, it, it's weird because, like, I was enjoying it, but I could definitely see how it was not going to be the absolute great shit, greatest thing ever. Um, Because I, I, I think that the rest of the other sections of the game were, like, all very action -y. It's like, Am I playing Resident Evil anymore? You still gotta wake up early tomorrow. Bye, guys. All right, Nature. Thank you so much for coming out. You have a great night. There you go. Albert Wesker steals the show once he's brought in. Yes. Yes, he does. And hit the voice actor, DC Douglas, is absolutely amazing. As, as, what's his name? As Albert Wesker. He nails it. Part of me kind of hopes it'll be more of Wesker in the future. We'll see. Oh, yeah, that's right. Next, next, uh, next week is TGS. Which, unfortunately, there's no words on... Oh, no word on anything Ace Attorney related from Capcom, but there is this whole thing about Project Resistance that's happening. Damn it. And people are going gaga goo goo over that because it's like, what does it mean? What's going to happen? So, we'll see. That's the most tolerable chapter, closest to Classic RES. Maybe that's why I enjoyed a little bit of my plate of it then. Damn it. Okay. I want to say this room isn't really that bad. I just suck at it. <laughs> Damn it, why you gotta be patient? Did I see those bloopers about Albert Wesker? Uh, I don't think I did, no. I gotta see those. Wesker is like, he's a trap. Like, he brings back all my rep repressed memories of when I had a huge villain kink ba because when I'm... Why am I still so attracted to villains is not healthy? <laughs> well, depending on... No, I can I can see why a lot of people can be attracted to villains. I mean, depending, I guess, depending on what the villain is or what, what his motives are. I, I, can, I can see... Probable cause. Shit. Like, Wesker, he is a really cool villain. 
in my opinion. And I haven't seen him portrayed. How is he portrayed in the movies? Is, is it good? It didn't look good. I stopped watching Resident Evil, the movies, oh man, after the third one maybe? Because I was like, this isn't good. I should have stopped after Apocalypse, the second one, because that wasn't good. Come on! <sighs> I think Resistance might be an RE Outbreak remake or something RE3 related. So, here's my thoughts. I agree with you. Now, Resident Evil Outbreak, it would be amazing, amazing if we got something like that nowadays. Resident Evil Online, but like, not mercenary style? Yes, of course, sign me up, you know? Now, it's just depending on, are they gonna implement it like it like it was during Outbreak File 1 and 2. I don't know. A I mean, part of me feels like it might still be a Resident Evil 3 remake because people have been clamoring for it, damn it. Especially after the huge success of Resident Evil 2 remake. Which I, I know I still gotta play again. I gotta do go, go through Claire's story, but... Dear God, that game was amazing. You have a good anti-hero? Yes. It's always that little bit. It, lo it looks like I overshoot it a little bit, so I gotta control myself a little bit. At least I'm getting through these sections without too much trouble now. I say that I die. I think it's, if it's Resident Evil 3, it would be a teaser or something like saying it's in development. Oh yeah, I, I don't think there's going to be a... I don't think they have anything to really show show. If they do, that'll be insane. At the same time, we don't know what the hell Capcom's been doing ever since Resident Evil 2 has been finished. Oh! So, we'll see. No, you actually they might have something to show because I could have sworn not too long ago they were inviting people to play something Resident Evil 3 related. They said like as a beta. And this was a couple months ago. So it's very possible that it could be something fully functional, or, you know, playable, I should say, and people will have fun. We'll see. We'll see, what, we'll see what's in store for TGS next month, or next week. Went up, up and left. <sighs> Alright, Super Twin, thank you so much for coming out, buddy. You have a great day. Make the Suave villain female and you've killed me, but like any other gender really Suave or confident cocky villains are so sexy to me. <laughs> I feel like that's how they do a lot of villains nowadays, Joanna. Do you not agree? Uh, for whatever reason, Vir damn it. Virgil from the Don uh, Devil May Cry series to me, he screams that. It's either that or Capcom just really knows how to make a good villain. Virgil, uh, Albert Wesker, every bad person in the Ace Attorney series. I don't know. All right. Come on. Damn it. Really? I'm trying to let go of the control, the input, as soon as I dash to the left toward the last couple blocks. Or jumping pads, whatever. Crystals. You, know, you guys know what I'm getting at here. But, screw me over. 
If only I could play six with you. That game has has to be played co-op. It's the only one to have fun with it. That I agree. Kind of the same thing. I would. And same thing with uh, five. I mean, you can get through five with the AI computer, but I, I would only do it. I would only do it after you played it with somebody else already, and you have all the unlockables. Then the AI is tolerable in, in Resident Evil Five. And speaking of that, where is Sheva? Of course that had to happen, of course. I liked Shove on Resident Evil 5. But they haven't used her since. Look, that easy. I never played Resident Evil 2 Remake, but I remember when I got recommendations about Mr. X and I was like, why YouTube? Oh man, all the mods for Mr. X were insane. That's a good point, really. I don't think AA has ever had a badly written villain. I'd like to say yes. Um, that's correct. Was there a really bad one? I mean, there's obvious ones, but yeah, whatever. I love how this screen only took me w one try and the other one took me like forever and a half. Oh look, it's her. Oh, I forgot she does that. <laughs> it's like she has an evil beam. Don't get hit. Oh, almost lost it there. Uh oh. Damn! How do you want me to do that one, game? Do you want me to get on the other side first? Oof, that's gonna be hard! <sighs> oh, what? She, like, homed in on her! Okay, that made it a lot easier. Oh, how come we didn't home in there? Sheva sent an email to a playable character in Six about Chris, and that's the last we ever heard of her. Oh, that's that's kind of upsetting. Ooh, okay. We. Huh? Oh, was I not supposed to? Maybe I wasn't supposed to get the bubble. The, f the feather just yet. Better. Uh, I have an idea. Don't know if it's going to work. Yeah, I just, I just go for her after I do that. Okay. Oh, how is this going to work? Like that. Just grab the feather. Grab the feather. 
A character completely vanishes out of trace. Me, a fanfic writer, rubbing my grubby little hands together. My city now. She's still in Africa with a BSAA. I know that much. Oh. Okay, well. Still fighting the good fight. Uh, how do I want to handle that? If I hit her that time around, I want to see what happens. Not like that. I haven't explained what I, uh, what I did it or how I did. It. What do you mean, Smitten? Oh, come on, we're making some decent progress. Gonna get stuck in this room now. Well, you know. Just die again. Whew. Basically, opened the stream on phone so I could listen to to it while playing Persona 1 on PC. Okay, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that works perfectly. The only downside is you can't hear the game. Ah, uh, okay. How the hell did I do it before? Now it's like, oh, I can't even do this little section. Okay, so I gotta go for the top one. Oops. Yeah, Hatsune Miku Mega Mix next year. For the Switch, though, yeah? Hasn't been really been... Uh, plans to have it, anything else yet. So if I go for the top and bottom one, and then she shoots me back, I'll be able to get the middle one, and I'll be good. So like right here. There you go. You know, just don't die, that'll be good. Oh, hey there, Binks. How are you doing today? How's it going? Hey, it's going. I didn't grab the switch. How are you feeling, Binks, by the way? Hmm. Pretty good, you're just tired. Damn, hopefully you feel a lot better soon. Come on! I was so close that one time, now I can't get back to it. Smack you, okay, and I use this, and I go that, and I do this, and I go boom, and I go right into the damn bullet! All right, Joanna. You enjoy your lurk. That's not what I wanted to do. Although that worked. Huh. Oh my 
my god, I can't... I can't exit out of that properly. I'm gonna keep getting smacked on the wall. It's like, I'm not trying to do that, but... Oh my god. Yeah. This, this, is, this is a funky one. I can't even... How the hell is Chapter 7 going to be? I just realized that. Mm. Like, I could just sleep for ages. Must be the result of that, yeah? Embrace that creativity, yes. Hello there, Plasma Fire. Welcome to the stream. Okay. Oh, not like that. Just right at the end. I'm almost there. Just right at the end. Don't jump out like that. That's too much. Do it a couple other times before. Can't wait to see, wait, ugh, can't wait to see some epic Shiva fanfic. <laughs> oh, what? Why even did I do that? No, no. I can never play a game like this. Props to you, Pharaoh. Well, yeah, like Justin said, there is an assist mode that anybody can play the game and not feel like a total scrub. But me? Nah, I'm... This is all me. I suck, though. Although, you can't use assist mode on B-side, so... Yeah, that, that... Wait, can you use assist mode on B-side? I did it again! talk about like the definition of insanity regarding this game it's like it's like you do the same thing over and over and over again thinking you're going to get, get a different outcome and i realized i do that a lot a lot in puzzle games it's like yeah well i'll just do this again and it's like but i did that before it's not going to work why would i think it's going to happen this time around although with this it's more so oh fudge you game that's actually the closest I've been, but it's like... But it's like, with this game, it's, like, it's not like I'm purposely doing the same thing over and over again and, and wanting to fail. It's like, I know how to solve the puzzle. It's a matter of execution of the puzzle. Like that. Thinking about it, I can't remember the last time I played a trial and error game like this. See, and I remember somebody mentioned, like, I don't know if you like to consider this really trial and error. Or it's like, it's it, it does it enough that it really wouldn't consider trial and error, but, eh. You don't have the patience for this kind of game, or this kind of stuff. But I do become persistent on fighting games like Mortal Kombat. See, that's something I wish I was more inclined in, was, like, fighting games, but... You, just, you gotta put in a lot of time into it, you know? It's like, I have so many other things going on as it is, so it's like, eh, it's like I, I don't feel like playing. Okay, this one I can do is just... There you go. Damn. It's, a, it's good at unleashing the sadist within us. Ah, 
I mean, is, is that how we want to say, like, what this game's doing to me? I don't know. I, but I like games like this, like this, a thousand and one spikes. Oh, of course. All I know is that they, they, they did this game so much justice, and it's great. If you, if you like these types of games, then you're in good hands. You just enjoy letting your inner violent tendencies out. As long as it's just that and doesn't come out, you know, uh, outwardly, I guess. I'm pretty sure I'm masochist when I play D-Sides. D-Sides? I thought there wasn't any D-Sides. I thought there was just C-Sides. Oh, God. It, oh, wait, no. D-Sides, that's the mod, right? Yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not going to be doing mods. Why can't I? I have enough room. Why can't I just go around? What's wrong with me there? And besides, I don't think I can do mods with this version because I'm playing it through Epic Game Store because the game is free. Okay. Whew. Uh, yeah, hold on. Oh, you want me to go? Okay. We. Oh, well, what, what do I do afterwards? We oh there you go. We oh damn, I was kind of doing okayish. Now that I know like what the theme of this room is. Oh, I wait. I might be able to. Still, yeah. Woo! Oh no, why does it keep going up? You can definitely do mods in the Epic Games, but that one. Oh. Oh, okay. I, I didn't know you can do mods on the, on the Epic Game Store versions. Oh. Red Dead Castaway Edition tomorrow. Oh, are you going to be fishing in tomorrow's stream, Justin? I don't know. I mean, I enjoyed fishing in Red Dead 2, but I feel like I didn't get a lot out of it. Oh, maybe I wasn't doing it right. No, I know what you're talking. I know what you're talking about. Castaway, I gotcha. Never mind. I thought you were talking about Castaway, like you know, a fishing line. No, no, no. Okay. I'm talking about a good old warm one. Yeah, Tom Hanks Castaway. Yeah. I just, I, I wish I enjoyed that that section of the game, but just wasn't a fan of warm. I survived it. Ah! Ah. Don't hit me. Oh, damn, I gotta go down more. Right into the lasers. Right into the spikes. Mm. It's the slowest part to be sure, and if you don't hunt the animals there, you can never come back to it, so I went ahead and hunted some off stream. You can hunt in Gwarma? That just shows how much I pay attention. Although, to be, <coughs> to be completely honest, I never really hunted that much in a normal game anyway. 
I don't know why. I don't know why I never, I never got big, big into hunting in Red Dead. There's parrots? I can hunt parrots? That seems kind of... Seems kind of, kind of cruel. Oh, does it does it keep doing that? Okay. I'm not I'm not sure how I wanna handle this just yet. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, damn. Just gotta think about that one. Okay. Whew. <sighs> Sleep is too strong. I'm gonna go take a nap. Good luck, Pharaoh. You got this. Thank you, Binks. You enjoy your nap. I still remember talking to my maid about, about it for three months straight. Red Dead 2, you mean? Oh, yeah. You gotta do it for the compendium. Uh, yeah, like, like I said, I, I wish I got more into the hunting aspects or into 100% completion of of uh, Red Dead. I guess my main thing was um, was uh, I don't know what the hell I was gonna say doing like the side stories. That was my that was my main thing to do. Right into the damn bullets. I just realized it's almost been like a full hour since I've been playing this B-side. I think I started like around 3.30 my time and it's about to be 4.30 in a little bit. I thought I was actually making some decent time. And not to say I'm doing terrible with this at all. Oh, I didn't have another boost. My fault. To it. Actually, there may be a slower part of the game in the epilogue. You probably know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I. Yeah, I guess I can agree with you there. Okay. Still not done, huh? Okay. Ouch. Good. Oh. Hmm. That one. How the hell am I gonna do that without her hitting me? We'll see. Like here, I mean, I like kind of like you, you do have to like kind of bait her into hitting you somewhere else. Well, there you go. Oh, so close. Oh, I thought... Damn, I thought I was holding on to it. Oh, 
Oh, that was close. She almost hit me. Oh, damn. I was actually doing decent-ish there. So yeah, my, my first attempt, and it actually went kind of well. Now here's my follow-up attempts, and, well, they suck. Like, what, there has to be a phenomenon for that. I just, I just don't know what. I gotta remember, I can exit out of the feather by dashing. I don't have, I don't have to hold on to it completely. Beautiful. Oh, all right. This is the last screen. Last screen, guys. Oh. So yeah, this took me just a little under an hour so far. So close. Oh, that wasn't enough. No, oh, no, 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 no. Not like that. Not like that either. Uh oh, not like that. It's okay, I just gotta calm down. I'm right here. I won! You get to this room, you you win. And uh, it's like, listen, you you survive hell. Boom! There you go. There's a reward. Center of the earth. Crystal heart. Get. Man, that was a lot though. I died quite a bit. I'm surprised this took me as long as it did. I thought the other ones were a lot worse, but B side complete for chapter six. How many deaths was that? Wow, really? 307. Like, I, f I felt like it wasn't that bad compared to the other ones, but... Uh, just looking at statistics here... Yeah, I know, I died the most times... And... Well, it wasn't the longest it took. Golden Ridge is what took me the longest, but I died the most so far on Chapter 6. Now, what's next is Chapter 7's B-side. That's the epilogue. What's next is the Chapter 7 B-side. Now this, this scares me. People have been telling me that They've spent so long on this level. I think somebody also mentioned that... Uh, somebody... Um, somebody had like 700 deaths? On, on Chapter 7? I'm like, oh, I mean, look at... I had 546 deaths on Chapter 7 on the normal run, but I chalk it up to a lot of it was getting the strawberries. But still... So you had about 400 deaths on Chapter 6 B-Side. Okay. So um, I'm on par with a difficulty spike of B-Side, I think. You know, I'm not I'm not the greatest player, but I'm not bad either. I like to say so. Yeah, you got to toot your own horn, horn sometimes. Toot, toot. So, <laughs> so I, I think we're going to be okay. Uh... Oh, hey. I know earlier we were talking about, um, I was talking about a job, and, and, but I, here's the job that I applied for, and I, I gotta take a damn test. 
You're allowed to move forward in your application. The next step is for you to take the assessment. Yo, yay. Well, okay. I got homework to do over the, <laughs> over the weekend. Says, how long is it going to take? Exam typically takes 30 to 60 minutes, depending on your skill level. Once you complete the assessment, please return the code only. We don't need the results. No, but see, uh, I don't like... I want I want to work with a real database. I hate just wearing, working, just writing queries and like God knows if they work or not. But it's understandable why they need that though. Okay, well, good, yay, that's good. There, there's, there's some, there's some progress being made on the job front. All right, guys, but before we tackle the B side of Chapter Seven, we're gonna go ahead and take a little break. Um. About, you know, three to five minutes. Get up, stretch, do what you got to do. We'll come back here and then we'll tackle B-side of Chapter 7. Maybe it'll take us another hour. Maybe it won't. We'll see. See you guys in a little bit.